Okay, this is another way to solve this question. However, I didn't come with the following solution. I want to say thanks to Mr. Gary O for his solution. Thank you so much. And you guys can also check out the solutions by other people. I will have a link to the solutions in the description for your convenience. Anyway, here we go. First, you can just do a real quick comparison and show that this right here does converge. So the following is actually legit. Anyway, we start by saying let s equal to the following sum. Not the original though. Instead of looking at 17 over 75 times 76, we will be looking at 17 over 74 times 75. And we will start like this, and we will continue with the same pattern. Meaning that the next one will be 17 times 18 over 74 times 75 times 76. And of course, we just continue with the same fashion. Very good. Now, this is how we are going to continue. We Leave s as how it is, and we also don't want to mess around with the first term. 17 over 74 times 75. Check this out. Look at this part, that part is pretty similar, of course, right? And if you just ignored this part, just focus on 18 over 76. Well, if you do 76 minus 18, we get 58. And the truth is, if we Look at the last numbers of the time and button like this, and if you subtract, we will always get 58. And this is how we are going to break down this part of the fraction. Let me show you. So we continue, we'll just write plus, this right here stays, 17 over 74 times 75, but we can write this fraction as 1 minus 58 over 76. Of course, you can just work this out, you'll see that this is indeed equal to that. And the reason for this is, we have more terms to work with. And sometimes when we are working with infinite series, you will actually see the series in stuff itself. You will see what I mean by that. Anyway, we'll continue with the following. So right here, we just add 17 times 18 over 74 times 75 times 76. And we do it the same thing right here. We have 1 minus. Still, we will have 58 on the top, but the denominator is 77. And we continue. Now, this is how we are going to continue. Keep s as how it is, and we are not going to mess around with the first term. Leave it, 17 over 74 times 75. Well, as we said it earlier, we wanted to have more terms to work with, just like this. Now, we'll take this guy times one. And as you can see, when we do this times that, of course, it's just that. So let me just put a plus. 17 over 74 times 75. It does this look familiar? Well, better yet, look at the following. If we take this, multiply by 1, well, we just get this guy. Do it right here. Very good. And, of course, this right here, we will continue. So put on plus dot dot dot. Yes, all the red things right here is just the original S right here. Not the original question, but if you look at this right here, that's S. This right here is just as s as that s. <laughs> Don't forget, we still have the second part. So let's use blue, of course. Now we will have to do this times that, and of course this times that, and of course this times that. Well, well. First of all, everybody will have a fifty-eight and actually a negative. We can factor that out, and we want to not factor out. <laughs> the 17. So let me just minus 58, right? And better yet, everybody will have a 74. So let's also factor out the 74. Why? Because, don't forget, we're still, still trying to solve the original question. When you don't have the 74 in the this parentheses right here, you will see the beauty. Anyway, we will have 58 over 74. And then, of course, we just continue. We take this times that, we will have the 17 left on the top only, over, hey, 75 times 76. That guy over there, good. 75 times 76. And then, of course, we continue, good. Now, here is the deal. Of course, all this right here is just equal to S. And this is exactly what we're trying to find. So, we can just solve the equation now. And this is so wonderful because we can totally solve this part from this equation because the s on both sides, they will cancel each other out. 
And of course, to solve this part, we can just maybe move this to the other side and multiply by the reciprocal of this. And we can just see that. So let me put this down here. And this is equal to, don't forget we still have this guy, which is 17 over 74 times 75. But again, as we said it, we multiply by the reciprocal. Of course, when we move this to the other side, it becomes positive already. So we just need to multiply by 74 over 58. And of course, cancel, cancel. Finally, our answer is just equal to 17 over 58. Well, let me actually put down 75 times 58, like this. And of course, we can work this out. This is 17 over 4350 just like that. So that's the answer right here. All right? Wow, this is like such a wonderful solution. Thank you so much, Mr. Gary Ho. I hope I pronounced your last name right. If I don't, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry about that. But I really, really appreciate this solution, man, because I've been trying to solve this for a long time. A few asked me this question, a shout out to you as well, and a shout out to all the students who took the competition in Hong Kong. And especially, let me know if you did this question right or wrong. Anyway, as always, that's it. Okay, all we have to do is 17 over 75 times 75 minus 17, and that's it. Whoa!